as a new leader are going to want, you're going to see things because you have a fresh set of eyes. You're smart, you're talented. You wouldn't be called into this role or being, being offered a role as a lead pastor without that. Um, but the truth is, if you want to come in and change everything, it's probably not the right church for you. So there is, there is some level of, I really love the context of this church, the locality, who the church is, who they're called to reach um, and minister to. And also this idea of, I have some fresh ideas that I'd be excited at seeing implemented in here, but there's also that overboard of, you know, if you want to come in and change all the elders, change all the staff, change the name of the church, sell the building, move across town to a different neighborhood, this probably, that's too much change for a church um, uh, most of the time, and probably it's just not the right church for you. So there's that side of things, and there's also this idea of like, um, age demographics of the church resembling the community and i told you there's some tools for this the first one um again it's in the notes and i have a, a hot link for it in the text but it's called a ministry area profile from a company called percept which comes from the word perceptive and uh for about 200 a little over 200 bucks they do some great community assessments that tell you a lot about um, is this community growing? What parts of it are growing? What age groups are growing? Are people having kids? Are people, is this a, a retirement community? Things that you probably see when you're there, it will put numbers to. But one of the things that's most important about that is it has a three-year trajectory on the future of this community, whether it's growing or not. How does this compare to national averages? Is it growing with families, with families with kids in their home? Is it growing with single people, um, race, and race and ethnicity, income levels, all those things get projected in there. Uh, if you don't want to spend the $200 to do something like that, um, I would encourage you just, you, most counties require their school systems to produce demographics. And you can see a lot of what's going on in the schools, which is a very good predictive indicator for free of what's happening in the community. So uh, again, this is important because it tells you, is this church on an island? Is this church already um, ripe to influence this community? Or is this church become an enclave of a decades um, gone past and they're not as relevant? They're not gonna have as easy of a time connecting and being um, a voice, a voice for the gospel um, in their community. So those are some great things about how well the ministry is aligned. Mm -hmm.